Well, the judge overseeing the Baltimore Police Department consent decree is not happy right now. We all learned this about this public filing that happened on Friday, and the judge is very concerned that the Baltimore Police Department cannot deliver what the consent decree promises, and he points to the merry-go-round of leadership changes right at the top of the department as the cause. WMAR 2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler is digging into this tonight about the judge's order, and he has a reaction. Brian. Jamie, the monitoring team in charge of overseeing this consent decree asked Judge Bradar for an extension on some deadlines. In his written response, the chief judge showed his frustration with the department and the city, airing the concerns he has in the city's ability to deliver true reform. Judge James Bradar granted the delay to the monitoring team, but he is not happy. The extended deadlines surround what is a touchstone for any reform process. New policies for misconduct investigations and discipline or the Internal Affairs Division by any other name. In this order, published Friday, the chief judge called the accountability system within the BPD, quote, completely dysfunctional and requires bedrock structural reform. This is a new, a new unit. This latest iteration of internal affairs is called the Office of Professional Responsibility, most recently restructured by now federally charged and former police commissioner Darrell D'Souza. Simply put, the monitoring team for the DOJ says police accountability reforms cannot be effective in this current setup. Berdar said, quote, this is an inexcusable state of affairs well over a year after the consent decree was approved by the court. Indeed, this discord is largely, if not entirely, of the department and the city's own making. The judge was referring to three police commissioners in just six months by Mayor Catherine Pugh, including the firing of Kevin Davis and the resignation of his deputy who engineered the original consent decree plan, Jason Johnson. We reached both for comment today. Davis told us, quote, any consent decree is a journey. Continuity of leadership matters during the hard work of police reform. Davis's former deputy, Jason Johnson, also sent us a comment after reading Bradar's order saying reform requires strong leadership at the highest levels of BPD and the city. Quote, leadership decisions that are unduly influenced by the daily push-pull of Baltimore politics will only continue to threaten any progress toward achieving compliance. It is unclear how or if interim police commissioner Gary Tuggle is empowered to fix this issue. Either way, Judge Bradar ended his order writing, quote, BPD and the city must right the ship. The city must identify a strong, capable leader for the department and give him or her the tools and support necessary to achieve the requirements set out in this decree. Now today, the current leadership for BPD met with Judge Bradar for a progress report. The meeting is closed to the public, but sources say he still is not very happy. Afterward, Interim Commissioner Gary Tuggle released a statement saying he reassured the judge that the BPD can implement these reforms and is committed to doing so. But we also reached out to the mayor's office several times today for her reaction to the judge's concerns about the consent degree agreement and the leadership turnover. We still have heard nothing. 